Hello, we are live. We actually, to confess a bit, had just we had forgotten about the live until like 20 minutes ago while we were eating dinner. We had <clears throat> pan seared salmon with the skin on, which is one of my favorites. Just like I, we did four pieces, two with salt, two with five spice. I always eat mine with coconut aminos and Theo scarfed like half a piece down. So it was a successful dinner and that's all we ate, just that salmon. It was pretty chill. So how are you guys doing? Happy Sunday. Happy, what day is it? Matt doesn't have the day on his computer. It's very frustrating. Okay, so today's the 24th. So it's the 20th day of the challenge. Yay! Um, and I have my hood up just because I'm just feeling, you know, like one of those days. Hope that's okay. And my hair's a mess. But <clears throat> it's been a long week, so I'm excited to be here with you guys. And also, be ex- I'm very excited to be starting a new week tomorrow. Theo was sick all week long. Um, turned out to be an ear infection, but high fever, so not sleeping well during the night. But taking long naps during the day, which was nice. So I was on night duty, which was, you know, you're not used to it when you have like a somewhat consistent sleeping toddler. And he was nursing just so much more. And he's still nursing a ton. And um, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little sore just from all the nursing he's doing because I'm not used to it. Hmm. Watching while I try again to make protein waffles that aren't too dry. Yeah, so it really depends on the protein powder you use. So we always recommend because we love Isopure. And that's going to make a very dry protein waffle and a very dry mug cake. Um, Waffles, you can't really like undercook like you can mug cake. So you can't really beat that dryness factor unless you like douse it in butter and syrup after. But if you use like something like Quest, which is a mix of milk uh it has milk and casein protein in it i think that's what it is but it's a mix and it makes really really good like waffles and mug cakes and just it's really really tasty um but i i just like i think isopure is just like better digestively and it doesn't have any erythritol in it and most of the quests have erythritol um Opinion on Slim Fast Chocolate Peanut. Are you talking about the Fat Bombs, Bavan? Because those are super good. We used to eat those a lot. We haven't lately, but, you know, maybe I should bring those back into the the circle of chocolates. I'm, I'm not doing chocolate a lot lately. I've been doing more berries. Um, I've been doing Too Good Yogurt again. So good. And But maybe I'll bring back those uh, Fat Bombs. The Slim Fast Keto Fat Bombs, those are probably, like, the best product they have we've tried a bunch of others recently on a mail time segment they're just trying to put anything out there they can get by you guys i feel like a lot of companies do that though but uh the fat bombs are good we tried the mint ones recently and then they have like a pecan clusters one so i gotta try those too huh the first week i went down nine pounds and now i gained a bath and don't know why oh, you gained them back Hmm. Um, the first week. So are you like in your second week and you've gained them back? So that first week will be a lot of like water weight um, from dropping your carbs, especially if you're coming from high carb and then you drop your carbs so much, you just retain less water. So it's not going to be like nine pounds of body fat, unfortunately. Um, so maybe that happened but then like you're still just eating a lot of food, even if it's keto food. So your weight kind of settled back up. Um, but how are you feeling? I think two weeks in, you start to feel pretty good. I think so. Maybe focus on that. Let the weight come as it will or go as it will. Um, tips to not have waffles stick to top of pan, half stick to bottom. I mean, do you use a spray on your waffle iron? Because that usually does the trick. They're pretty, they're usually non-stick too, but, um, we use spray anyway. Have you tried the frozen cloud bread at Kroger Simple Truth Puff Buns? Well, we hate cloud bread in this household. It really much just like melts or disintegrates in your mouth. It's not a great wrap or like bun or holder. 
Um, so I don't even know if I would try those, but I guess if I see them, we don't go to Kroger that much, but if I do go and I see them, I guess we'll get them and we can try them for a mail time segment, but I don't think I would ever buy cloud bread. It's so easy to make at home for cheap and we just don't like it anyway. Mm, they're called puff buns. We'll have to keep an eye out. Um, I've been using your 90 second bread recipe in my chaffle maker. Totally love it. I had a cinnamon... I had cinnamon or blueberries on or everything but the bagels seasoning for a change, but the plain ones are my fave. That sounds nice. Waffles are so fun. We did birch bender waffles yesterday for brunch. Just so fun. Um, okay. So if you don't know why we're here, what we're doing this live for, I've been doing it the past several Sundays in January for the challenge, our hashtag 30 under 20 challenge. Um, which is still going on, like I said, day 20. So feel free to start now if you're just getting on board with keto. It's never too late. And so I've just been meal planning with you guys, showing you how I meal plan. I usually just use Pinterest. And then we have a couple um, recipes that we just like rotate or bring in week over week, like a taco Monday or, you know, an Instant Pot chicken curry, something like that. So... I will share my screen and this right here, one eighteen twenty one. So this was last week and we did the short ribs. So why don't I check it off and then we can see what we're less left with. So we did the, um, we did the short ribs. We did the chicken crust pizza, which was pizza, which was so good. We did lamb chops and salmon. Um, and then we did not do any takeout, I believe. No. So, yeah. So, this is what we didn't do last week. So, let's start off this week. And it is going to be the 25th. 21. Cool. Okay, like it won't let me add that as a task. Okay, there it is. Okay, so I saw a recipe on Instagram today by Ambitious Kitchen. She does like paleo recipes, but I like um, looking at her recipes. I might have mentioned her last week and I like altering them. And it was a, shoot, what was it? A yellow curry, I believe. Hmm. Slow cooker, healthy slow cooker, chicken curry. This was it, I think. Let me let me look at the ingredients. I'll remember. Yeah, so this was it. And instead of doing it in the slow cooker, I'm going to do it in the Instant Pot because we're not like slow cooker people, but Instant Pot is always so quick and it cooks chicken in like nine minutes. So this will probably be a really quick make. So coconut milk, chicken broth, Peanut butter. And when I saw that ingredient, I was like, I definitely want to make this. I love adding nut butters to things. They just enhance the flavor and the creaminess. So the peanut butter, coconut aminos, garlic, ginger, yellow curry powder or regular curry powder. We just have regular curry powder. We have all these ingredients. And then instead of sweet potatoes, we would do broccoli. We would keep the onion, the red bell pepper. And it would just be, I'm just so excited. So I'm definitely going to add this to... Since we didn't do the Instant Pot Chicken Curry last week, let me pull that down here, actually. And then I can change that to Instant Pot Yellow. And we'll keep red bell pepper and broccoli, and then we'll also add some onion. So that is a recipe. That is one day of the week, whatever day we decide. It's not in order. We got Pinterest here. Let's search some. What are you guys having tonight? What did you have this past week that was your favorite? Um, just finished making egg loaf. That's cool. I feel like a lot of people love the egg loaf. I'm not going to lie. Um, not my favorite. It's... So I made it, not recently, but I would, you know, maybe like 
six months ago, I thought it would be easy to meal prep. So I meal prepped it. And then after just like having it once, it just made me want to eat more. Like it wasn't filling at all. It made me want to eat a lot. So it's definitely not something I would eat for a meal. Like, and so we just don't make it. Matt's not, he's not, that's not something he would eat either really too often. Egg roll in a bowl is a go-to of mine. So I did get a bag of cabbage from Whole Foods recently, yesterday actually. So we'll add that egg roll in a bowl. I keep saying we're going to make it and we just haven't made it. But like I said last week, I've just been into like the Asian Indian flavors lately. So we're definitely going to do that. Um, we are having the bar side mozzarella sticks tonight. They are our favorite. Yeah, that sounds really good. Roasted artichokes for the first time with hollandaise. Delicious. Yeah, artichoke is really, really good. Um, I don't know if it's ever something I would make at home, but I've like definitely gone to friends and their moms made it and like an, as an appetizer and we eat it with mayo. It's super good. Yeah, someone said, but you said it's labor intensive. Yeah, it is. Um... Oh, Tracy, I think you said this last week. Egg roll in a bowl, leftovers in bone, in bone broth. That's a great idea. We have been incorporating so much bone broth because I swear we have just been like sicker as of late. And this is pretty common. We've been told from parents, and I'm sure you guys will agree that when your child's in daycare for their first year, they get like sick. And so I think even if he's not sick, he like brings home something and Matt and I are like on and off. So he goes to daycare twice a week. So not like full time, but he's still bringing stuff home for sure. I want to do chicken wings. Some I think, you know, I want to do salmon again tonight. The salmon, I had one piece and then like a bite, bite of a second piece that I'm going to give to Theo for breakfast tomorrow. It's just so filling and so good and tender. And, and the crispy skin gets me every time. So let's do pan seared salmon. One of Matt's favorite recipes is our, and I think I showed this to you a couple of weeks ago, our um, salmon curry. Yeah, right here. Uses coconut milk, but I like it plain sometimes, and then I just douse it in coconut aminos. So I want to do salmon again this week for sure. Okay, let's go to Pinterest, guys. Uh, everyone is just saying egg roll. Well, I made Big Mac bowl last week with lots of extra lettuce. That sounds super good. Burger bowls. That's just like sounds so comforting and appetizing to me. It's not really Matt's thing. Um, but maybe we'll eat out this week and do the five guys burger bowl. So let me bring that down because that'll be fun. We're doing chicken here. We're doing ground beef likely for the egg roll in a bowl we're doing salmon and then maybe some burger bowls that'll be good and then i think uh the blaze pizza that we're probably will save that for like a saturday sunday night when we're uh watching a movie or something that'd be fun hmm we just started a week ago a week ago tomorrow We've been eating boring. My kids are so picky. My youngest won't eat anything. I feel like that's common with kids, right? They just, you know, they go in and out of phases. But sometimes eating boring is like the easiest way to go about it. It's like you eat, just like keep it simple, eat good whole foods. They're filling. Um, they're satisfying. But like, you know, they're not fun. You're not making like chicken fajita casserole, casserole or something. But uh, sometimes we just like to keep it simple. Like tonight, like I said, just like salt on salmon, pan seared. That was just so good for me. Chinese chicken salad. That sounds so good. I've been doing a lot of chicken salad for lunch lately. Matt doesn't like anything mayo based or like yogurt or sour cream based. So I've been in like the salad mood. So that looks so good right there. But I feel like salad for me is more of a lunchtime thing. Otherwise, I would try to convince Matt to do it for dinner. Tea is good for cravings. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's true. But hmm, I guess it really depends on like what the craving is. Are, have you just eaten? Is it like a boredom eating thing? Are you actually hungry? 
So, you know, if you are actually hungry, if you haven't eaten enough, I wouldn't just like go and drink a bunch of tea to like suppress your appetite if that's what works for you. I honor, you know, whatever hunger I have. And if it's like a craving, I don't always have a dialogue with myself. Like, obviously, I'm not, I'm definitely not that kind of person. I kind of just go for the snack and eat it. But if I'm craving something in particular, you know, like a donut, for some reason lately, I've been like seeing a lot of donuts, like just standard American donuts. I follow like a bunch of just non-keto foods because I like to look at food pictures on Instagram. And I've just been seeing so many donuts for some reason. And so I've been like craving them but you know I'll have something that satisfies that sweetness but I don't need to even have keto donuts you know so I wouldn't just like push aside any cravings completely personally Pi Mega on the 20 and 30 only one day over by three grams down 14 pounds wow tracking girl that sounds amazing one day over by three grams i wouldn't even like worry about that i'm sure it was like with veg it was you know i wouldn't even stress that you were crushing it congratulations um i like salads for dinner and to do a bigger lunch so when i eat like a big meal i get tired And so if I have a big lunch, then I just like want to lay down afterwards and it's not ideal for like getting stuff done, going out, hanging out with Theo. So I don't eat like a super big lunch. Like I'll have like um, a, a normal sized meal and then like a snack maybe. But I think lately I've been preferring a bigger dinner. I like to go to sleep full because we eat so early usually. Um... So, yeah, if we're eating like 435 and we're going to bed at like 8, 830, I like to uh, be really full. Mm. Any advice on how to stop eating when you're actually full? I always overeat and are getting a bad binging snacking mode. Okay, Autumn. So I totally feel you on this. It, It can be very difficult. And Matt said this before. You kind of wake up. You have the whole day ahead of you. You feel really good about things. You're having your coffee. You drink your water. You're fasting. Whatever the case is. And then slowly as the day chips away, so does like your so-called willpower. Or like your ability to just like say, hey, I don't really need that. Like, you know, I'm not actually hungry. Or I just had a meal. Or I'm actually craving like, I don't know, a steak and eggs and not like a Quest bar. And so I think... It can be really tough. It has been tough for me definitely in the recent past, like at night after dinner, just like snacking, snacking, snacking. And then it just gets away from me. And then by the time I realize like it's time to go to bed and I've eaten so much and it's just like this guilt on my mind and like this unsettling, like this discomfort in my belly and I don't even feel good when I go to sleep um, and I don't sleep well. So I, what I did was I assessed my foods. So like, what was I eating, you know, maybe right before that snacking cascade, cascade, the cascade of snacking. I don't know if that's said right, but, uh, the cascade of snacks right before that happened, like what, what did my meal look like? And if it was just like, you know, a steak and carrots or a steak and broccoli, was I eating enough? Was I really satisfied afterwards or was I like, you know, even like mentally playing this game with myself? Like if I eat less steak, then I can have more snacks because I, I do that with myself. I think a lot of us do that, maybe even without realizing. So I would assess your foods and it sounds like you get you're, you're getting a snacking mode similar to me, similar to many people. So are those packaged snacks? Are you keeping it or limiting it to whole foods? I think maybe just like going back to keeping it very simple, trying to stick to like 90% whole foods, maybe cutting out those Quest bars or any sort of keto packaged bar that tastes so good that you just want to eat more. I think that really, really helps. For me, it definitely has. Um, So maybe giving that a try. I feel you though, Autumn, and you know, it's definitely a struggle a lot of us face. So start there for sure. And then maybe come back next Sunday and, you know, try try out this week and see how you do with that. And then we can chat more. Um, is it Mega or Megan, Joe? It is Mega, spelled the first way, M-E-G-H-A. Um, I appreciate you asking because some people will just 
assert like or just you know tell me like oh they forgot the end like no I did not did not forget the end uh, my whole family including the kids ages 5 through 13 love your egg roll in a bowl recipe that's amazing 5 through 13 how many kids do you have that sounds fun Matt was just saying before when we were eating dinner he's like it's gonna be so fun when we have a bunch of kids like running around and I was like fun for you maybe because I clean up after <laughs> after them Mm. Quincy said please add cooked radishes to your burger bowl just like potatoes I haven't had radishes in a while I feel like it's been like two years but yeah we used to eat radishes they are really good that's a that's a good callback um okay let me do a little more scrolling I'll keep answering questions Hey, Mega, I'm just starting a keto diet. Do I have to wait any particular period before I can incorporate some original monk fruit here and there? Uh, no, you. so you don't have to wait any period of time to incorporate, you know, uh, baked goods or low-carb sweeteners. It's really up to you. A lot of people like to refrain from eating any, maybe in the beginning, maybe the first couple of weeks, the first month or so. Just so that um, they don't get away with like eating so many baked goods and packaged snacks because then, I don't know, I, th I think that could make it harder to like really be true to your hunger. So, you know, just sticking to like whole foods or like less like sweetened foods is a good route to go. I mean, like Stevia and your coffee could be good, good way to like get in something sweet during the day. But no, a lot of people... Right off the bat, have sweets. If you're used to eating sweets, there's no reason to just completely restrict and cut them out. I think that can make it a lot more difficult to sustain and can feel a lot more restrictive. So I think it really depends on where you're coming from. For sure, when Matt and I started, we were doing a Quest Bar every single day. That was kind of like the thing that kept us, or in my mind at least, I don't know how Matt remembers it, but we were kind of fresh to dating I believe like not fresh but maybe like five months or so and I like I had never had quest bars like no no no. I was eating quest bars yeah so was he for sure and I just discovered a bunch of flavors I only stuck to like the peanut butter chocolate one and with Matt I kind of like opened up my catalog of like what quest bars I would eat so we would try like a different one and we would split two of them every single night and that was like kind of our thing to do together and it like made it really fun and like enjoyable and something to look forward to at the end of the night um, and it satisfied any sweet cravings we had so you know it's really a personal call on how you feel about sweetener sweet things in general uh, I bought crunchy almond butter and blackberries because of you mega tonight's dessert Woo! let me know what she's I hope it doesn't disappoint um truly my favorite I can't find any videos of you reviewing Franz burger buns I know their ingredients suck but does it spike your blood sugar I don't I've never heard of Franz um and I guess I would need to know how I don't know how their um ingredients suck Franz Franz bakery have we, wait, have we tried these? Is this the same brand from your mom brought us from Costco, Matt? Um, where are the ingredients? Ingredients. Okay, it's not coming up. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Why can't... Okay, so the ingredients aren't here. That's annoying. Franz Burger Bond ingredients. Okay. Um, wheat flour, malted barley. Are these low carb? No, these are not the low carb ones. Franz Keto. Sorry, is this like taking too much time up? Okay. So wheat gluten. So yeah, most any store bought bread or bun is going to have some sort of wheat in it. So that's really a personal preference. Are you comfortable eating that or not? Soybean oil, not great. 
I mean, this isn't like the worst of the worst. Personally, the worst I've seen ingredients wise is chompies. I would not get that because that uses soy flour. It uses soy everything. It was definitely the worst. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't believe this would spike your blood sugar just from looking at the ingredients. Okay. Back to Pinterest. Just sauteed some onion, tomato, serranos, and bell pepper with avocado oil and added chicken breast seasoned with curry powder. It was delicious. That sounds phenomenal. Mega, thanks for all the time you and Matt spend helping us. Love watching all the informative videos. So much help. Theo is a peach. He is a peach. I don't like peaches, though, so I'm going to say he's... A strawberry because that's my favorite berry right now and that's his favorite berry but yeah kids kids make life better but thank you we really appreciate it we enjoy what we do for sure um i can't uh, i could okay so, April said, that's my problem. I could eat beef jerky and water throughout the day and not eat a meal at all, mainly to not fight with my kids on foods to eat. Let them eat their food, and I just snack on beef jerky. Okay. I mean, I would definitely get in some real meals, but beef jerky is a great snack. Okay, let's get back to some browsing here. How many meals do we have? Where is it? <clears throat> There it is. So we get our yellow chicken curry, which I think I'm most excited about. The egg roll in a bowl, the salmon, and potentially the Five Guys Burger Bowls. We don't always eat out every week. Um, and usually if we do, it's Chipotle, but we'll see if Matt will go for Five Guys. So what? I, we usually do steak. So if we don't do Five Guys Burger Bowls, we'll probably do steak which I'm always fine with. Our freezer is so full right now, but what is looking good, guys? It's nice to do something that we haven't done in a while, once in a while, like the the chicken crust pizza. I was craving it for like, I swear, like months. We finally did it and it was so good. I did a one and a half recipe. Chicken fried rice sounds really good. I'm not a huge cauliflower person, but I love chicken fried rice with cauliflower. So keto fried rice. Let's see what the ingredients are here. Um, okay. Butter, eggs. Eggs always really turn it up a notch. I feel like that's just an extra step I don't normally want to take, but I think it's worth it. Yeah, this sounds great and super simple. Um, I'd probably do like a little stevia instead of erythritol. Erythritol is fine. When I say, you know, I'm going to do one sweetener over the other, it's not because the one sweetener is bad. It's just because, you know, we just often use stevia if we're sweetening something. Coconut aminos, sesame oil. Yeah. Finely minced garlic, ginger and garlic. I would probably use fresh garlic, fresh ginger, as it says. And this looks great. We're definitely doing this. So I'm going to add this. I'm going to save it to Mega's board. Yay, saved. Okay. And let's add that to our list. And there you have it, guys. That was quick and easy. I, I kind of knew what I wanted. It's usually based on what my cravings are. Um, but we can keep looking a little. Oh, I also saw a beef stew on Instagram today or yesterday that looked really good. I love, like, it's so cold right now, so, like, stews, anything really hearty just sounds so good. Just did half chicken, half steak. Trick at Chipotle, you said in a salad bowl. Thanks, Mega. Yeah, Bailey, good call. A little bit of each, you can you never go wrong. And when when I was doing beans, like when I wasn't keto, I would always do um, some of both beans. So black beans and pinto beans, it's just the best. 
What is the best keto bread? If you're not making it home, which, you know, you don't have to. There's definitely plenty of options out there. Uh, I think the best bread that I've tried, the best bagels for sure. Oh, I'm sorry. LC Foods. Um, so low carb foods, their bagels are so good. We tried those in a mail time segment a while ago and Matt was blown away. I was very surprised at how impressed Matt was. So LC Foods I is my personal favorite. Um, Matt also, we've tried low carb bread company. Matt likes that one. I think those are the two best ones. Uh, store-bought. Store-bought ones, there aren't a lot of great ones. Because I, I know Sprouts has Chompies. Oh, there's um, Base Culture. It's not terrible. I give it to Theo once in a while. I'll like spread some cashew butter or some almond butter or peanut butter, whatever, nut butter on it. And he likes it. So Base Culture. And they have a couple different ones. They have like seed ones too. And these are the ingredient macros. So not bad, right? Four net carbs per slice. And then the ingredients are really good as well. So water, eggs, almond butter, flax meal, arrowroot flour, husk, psyllium husk, almond flour, and apple cider vinegar. So this is probably the in-store best ingredient-wise, quality-wise bread you'll get. Base culture. And I've seen it in Whole Foods. I've seen it in some like small grocery chains i wonder if sprouts has it i guess maybe we can look it up but whole woods definitely has it base culture at sprouts nope doesn't look like they have it okay so yeah whole foods if you're able to go to one it's definitely gonna have this maybe you can order online as well mm. What do you use to make your list? Uh, I used Todoist. This is something um, like our team uses. I think we're changing over to something else. Matt's like trying to find a new, better system to organize things. But like our entire Keto Connect team uses Todoist to like, uh, you know, plan out stuff and assign people stuff. And I we all have like our own personal ones. And so, yeah, I'm on Todoist right now. It's a cool... Um, app just like to make lists I use it every single day and I like to keep track of what I'm doing hi Meg I want to make your bacon chili recipe an instant pot don't have tomatoes at the moment is it going to be a game changer without them so you don't have like tomato sauce or tomatoes you're saying yeah I mean that's really going to change the texture and the taste because chili is tomato based um And yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it's not just going to, it's just not going to be a chili, but you can definitely still make something super tasty. Get some broth going in there. Maybe you can make more of like a stew. Um, you can thicken it up with some xanthan gum. Hi, Mega. I love you both so much. Thank you. I really am. I'm really enjoying these lives, though. Just you chatting is great. I appreciate that. I feel like I sound so groggy right now. I'm so sorry. Um, can you eat dairy while breastfeeding? I've heard of people saying it drops milk supply. Don't know if that's true. I've never heard that once in my life. Um, I've heard like it can affect, especially like right in the beginning when the baby's young, it can affect their digestive system. So like give them upset tummy. I know I cut it out with Theo. I don't know if there's like true founded research to it, but I know Theo was having tummy issues. I cut it out. I noticed a difference for him. So I kept it out pretty much like from the beginning until about four months. And then I started bringing it back in because I just needed dairy um, but yeah, you can absolutely do dairy and, in, and good quality dairies in particular. It's going to be so good for you and the baby. If, if you know, if you can tolerate it, have you tried any meal kits like green chef or sun basket? I've not, I've not heard of sun basket. We have not tried green chef. We actually have a full blog post. Um, let me see if I can find it. Where are we? Okay. 
uh, meal delivery. I'm just typing in something that might be, yep, meal, best meal delivery options. And we rated a bunch of them here. And then one I tried recently, ketone bodies, I remember trying is super good. Oh, keto fridge we tried um, that I remember. Like if I, you know, I don't remember a lot of these because it's been so long. But recently, the most recent one I tried was Evolve Meals. I actually ordered a couple on my own and we tried one in a mail time segment that'll be posted soon. Really good. Um, so you like order it Friday. They cook it fresh over the weekend. They ship it out Monday. So you get it like Tuesday or Wednesday, depending on where you live. I guess now I'm just like doing an ad for them. That's funny. But I liked them. I guess if it's a good company and you're supporting a small company, it is pricey, though. That's the downside. And like it's all stuff you can make at home. But I guess if you hate cooking or you need the convenience, it's these are good options. So definitely check out this blog post. It goes into detail. We rate them all. Um, so, yeah. That you can check out. Can you drop Keto Connect merch, please? You going to have to talk to Matt about that. I am not, you know, running that front. That's all Matt. Because I always have ideas. I'm not like the idea guy. Like Matt's definitely the idea guy. But, you know, we both bring bad ideas to the table. I just bring a lot more of them. And Matt's veto power, vetoing power, is a lot stronger than mine. So if I bring a bad idea to the table that I'm really excited about and he says, no, we don't do it, vice versa, we do it. <sighs> like all the skits. I guess a lot of people love skits. But I've never been like, you know, the skits don't get me hype like they get him hype. And the what the protein powder, the protein uh, breasts and powder, is that the thing? He, he, you know, he thinks it's hilarious. And it's cute that he thinks it's hilarious. I love him for that. So um, sometimes babies can be colicky. Yeah, but sometimes we also just chalk it up to them being colicky and they're not colicky. And so he was definitely not a colicky baby. Um, I think it's easy sometimes to believe that's the case, but it could be a lot of other things. So I think we went in with the approach of like, we'll try out some things. We'll see how he reacts, but he's a baby. He's going to cry. Doesn't mean he's colicky. And I think that's what we would do just moving forward. There are some copycat Keto Connect shirts on Teespring. I almost bought one just to show you guys off regardless. Oh, that's sweet. Let me actually look. I guess then I'm just giving them publicity. I'll look look when I have my own time. I'm, I wonder, does it look exactly like our logo? <laughs> Matt quickly, Megan quickly tosses Matt under the bus on the merch. I mean, no, but yeah. So, okay, so I tossed him under the bus, but then I, I told him that, you know, then I gave him all the credit for everything else. I mean, he is the brains and the brawn and the beauty behind Keto Connect. I just do my Sunday lives with you guys. I guess I can make the main camera big now that we're just chatting. Um, my kids complain me to, I guess, that the breads are eggy. I just can't make them not eggy. I just stopped making them. Oh, okay. So if you, so yeah, homemade or like keto breads that you make at home using almond flour and like 20,000 eggs. Yeah, they're eggy. I'm not a huge fan of them myself. A lot of people like them, but I do like them if you toast them up. So if you toast the bread, it's not eggy at all. Also, you can add to our our um, almond flour keto bread. It's like the best keto bread. You can search on our site. I'll actually pull it up here. Uh, Matt found this to be the case. You can add a couple drops. Oh, no, I'm not sharing. This one right here, you can add some stevia, like maybe five drops of liquid stevia. That'll cut through that egginess. And then this keto garlic bread is so good. This is definitely my favorite bread. Mm. I highly recommend it. Now I'm craving it. Coconut flour bread isn't too eggy, but it's not like as bread-like. But yeah, we got some options here. And then mug breads are never really that eggy. Uh, waffles came out great. Thanks for the advice, Mega. Awesome. Glad they came out. Waffles are so good. Mm, 
and someone's about to put a big juicy steak in the cast iron and that sounds perfect I love a good thick steak we don't get like thick ones as often we have like th nice thin ones but um do you and Matt take any special vitamins on keto no we don't take special vitamins we don't actually take any vitamins. Um, like I'll supplement with folate when I'm pregnant. That's the only time I can really think I'm taking like some sort of nutrient into my body that's not through food. Otherwise, um, we, you know, we'll, we'll eat beef liver. We'll get all our nutrients through food for the most part. I think that's going to do you the best service. It's going to, uh, you know, be absorbed the best by your body. I'm a 25-year-old college student and a worker in long-term care, so I've fallen off keto a few times due to being so busy. You guys always motivate me when I need keto vation. I watch your videos. That is sweet. Yeah, long-term care can be um, really tough, but that's that's great that you do that and your college. That's awesome. Uh. What else, guys? I'm making some delicious tuna salad right now. Oh, my God. I just rediscovered tuna salad. Tuna salad is so good. I wish it wasn't the end of the day. It's so hard to do this. at. We should do this at 6 a.m. so I can, like, eat everything we talk about. Man, I would definitely eat tuna salad right now with some celery in there. Oh, just crunchy. I would, like, almonds. Mmm. I guess I can browse a little bit more Pinterest. We can see. Like, look at this this buffalo chicken wrap. Like, nothing ever is comes out that beautiful when you wrap it at home. Ever. What else? So if you didn't see, we tried the new Catalina Crunch cookies on Instagram yesterday, I believe, or Friday, maybe. Uh, original is still the best. This one right here. <laughs> okay, it takes me right there. And then the mint ones, I think are second best. I think chocolate cookie, the chocolate cookies are just better than the vanilla cookies. And then I think peanut butter and then vanilla cream, unfortunately, is last. Because golden Oreos are my favorite cookie of all time. But they just did not really replicate it, replicate it well. Saw Pinocchio at the theater and it was great. You saw that? Oh, today. Wow. That must have been nice going to the theater. I miss the movies. My birthday last year, my 30th, I guess... The most, you know, one of the most recent ones I remember. Theo was like six months. My mom was here watching him. And Matt surprised me with us going to see the second Jumanji with Dwayne Johnson, Kevin Hart. So good. It was one of my favorite birthdays because we were just away for the movie. We brought snacks. He brought like little tumblers of wine. And we just like saw the movie, drank, ate. And then we just came home and we were with our baby. Such a good day. This year was good, too. I guess birthdays are always fun when you have a a kid around, right? Uh, I recently cut out all sweet drinks, including Coke Zero, because the sweetness was driving my hunger. So far, the results are good. Yeah, uh, that definitely tends to be the case for me. It's awesome that you are willing and able to try that and, you know, finding that the same goes for you. Because then you can have, you know, like sweeteners once in a while. But if you go off the rails or like you find that your cravings are higher that day, you know exactly why and you can just change it. What did you have for dinner tonight? Sorry if I missed it. Yep. Michael said it. We had salmon. Just pan seared salmon. Pretty simple. Theo loved it. I just made a keto white chicken chili from Pinterest. Delicious. Yum. We have a really good white chicken chili in our first cook second cookbook maybe one of them 
Eggs always say save the day. Sausage balls, avocado, and eggs scrambled with turkey or chicken or fried. Yeah, I always, I've been um, hard boiling or soft boiling in the air fryer a lot of eggs lately. I just did 18 on Thursday, like an 18 pack. So, sorry. I'm so sorry. So, the way I did it, people were asking on Instagram. You just put them right in the in the bucket of the air fryer. 250 for like... 14 to 16 minutes um obviously like 13 14 minutes they're going to be softer 16 minutes are going to be harder and it also maybe depends a little bit on how many eggs are in there but yeah you don't need water you don't need anything I just put them right into the bottom of the air fryer and then immediately dump them into ice water so they stop cooking Any good keto pasta? We just came out with a keto pasta recipe, guys. Super good. You just got to be a little gentle with it because it can be a bit finicky. Um, so here it is. So you're definitely not going to... So it is made of cheese. I can tell you. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm just so bad at doing the desktop share. Okay. So it, this is what it's made of. Cheese, egg yolk, and then that is beef gelatin. That's what gives it the nice structure and keeps it together. Um, and it's super, I mean, it's a little labor intensive, but easy for the most part. Um, but you're not going to want to like put it directly in a hot pan because it is cheese, so it'll melt down. You want to add it to like a hot pasta sauce, not a hot, a warm pasta sauce, and then toss it, and then it'll be nice. Me uh, mega and besides in recipes do you and matt eat regular eggs or always um or always pasture raised etc i'm thinking i will stop the cheap eggs but wonder if the extra cost is worth any benefits so we never we always get um either we get our eggs from the local farm so those are going to be grass like the chickens are you know raised on grass so pasture raised i could have just said that sorry um, or we usually get the Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs. I don't know if they're necessarily organic, but yeah, we always get pasture-raised. We never get the cheap ones. I think it really definitely makes a difference. Uh, the quality, you can even just see in the yolk color. We try to do our part in terms of staying local. I think that's important. But then we also, as far as our bodies go and our son's body goes, we try to do our part in like keeping the quality as high as possible. But at the end of the day, like it comes down to what's the most budget friendly for you or affordable. I mean, I wasn't I like all my life. I wasn't eating like this. It took some time to build up to realizing how important it was or how much it meant to me. But if you're just starting out or like, you know, you're not eating eggs anyway, like getting eggs that you can one afford or just getting eggs in general, like they're healthy. So, um, I, I think it's worth the benefits. I mean, we clearly do buy pasture raised, but you know, it really depends on if how much that costs, like weigh that out, right? Like you could also be just getting a better quality, like other meats. It doesn't have to be your eggs. What do you think about the bang energy drinks? Um, so I think those are, I could be wrong. Let me look. Bang energy drinks, caffeine. Huh. One serving. Okay. So caffeine. So bang energy drinks have a sixteen ounce can. can sixteen ounce can has three hundred milligrams of caffeine. That is just an f bomb. The f word. Ton of caffeine, guys. If you're drinking that alone right in the morning, sure, fine. Um, but if you're drinking that on top of a coffee, on top of two coffees, we like to get away with our caffeine. We like to overdo it. I think that's just way too much. Um, there are other energy drinks out there that are similar um, quality-wise. You know, Monster being one of them that has, I think Monster has like 140 or 160 uh milligrams of caffeine per can that's the one I used to drink when I was doing energy drinks I think they're even tastier than bang but um 
yeah, I think there's just a lot of caffeine. Nothing special. I mean, you can get really any um, energy drink. Matt likes Red Bulls. He also really likes, I think probably the best ones as far as ingredients go, Zevia has some, and I think those are 120 milligrams per can. And they have pretty good flavor. So check out the um, Zevia energy drinks if you can. Um, I hate that pizza pepperoni goes bad like three to five days after opening. No way I can go through an entire pack of, in that amount of time. I don't know if that's true, Jeremy. I've like opened pepperoni packets and had them for weeks and they're fine, but they seal back up. Are you like not sealing it and then you're just letting it sit in your fridge with all the other stuff that's like culminating and adding flavors? I mean, you can put it all in a zip top, like a Ziploc bag and seal it. It should be better for three to, for, it should be fine for longer than three to five days. Even if it says three to five days, I think, I think you're good. Have you done a review in Keto Karate? I don't know if you mean Keto Crate or Keto Karate is actually a thing. <laughs> so that sounds pretty fun. My, uh, Apple Watch is telling me to stand up. No. It's been telling me all day. Like Sunday is... Sometimes even Saturdays, depending on, you know, the weather and Theo, it's just like, stand up, stand up, stand up. And I'm like, come on, like, stop. You know, I'm going to be sitting all day. It's a Saturday. <laughs> um, glad to see Megan didn't die after drinking that mystery water Matt left sitting around last Sunday. Yeah, he would be disgusted by the amount of times that I drink or eat stuff that has either been left over from him or just in general that I don't know where it's from and like Theo's just always like mashing stuff up in his mouth and then throwing it back on the plate and I just immediately eat it I'm just like no I'm not gonna waste that it's good egg it's good broccoli whatever and I just put it in my mouth he is just, and Matt won't even share water with Theo because Theo backwashes like so much it's unbelievable but you guys probably know if you have kids like what I'm talking about like when he eats nut butter and then I give him water out of my bottle It'll just be like a burst of nut butter that seeps into my water. But like, I'm not going to not drink it. And he's my son. Me and Matt are very different in that sense. I think a lot of people are probably more in his realm. You can correct me if I'm wrong about you. Is your list for meal prep this week done? Yeah. Sorry. Am I boring you guys? Do you want to, we can talk way more about meal prep. I can just do meals. We can, we don't, you know, we don't have to like chat. But I can also share my meals real quick and then I can browse more. Um, so let me share my desktop. So this week, 125-121. I'm going to do the Instant Pot yellow chicken curry. And I'm getting that recipe. And it's a slow cooker recipe, but I'm going to do it in the Instant Pot. Probably for like somewhere between 10 to 15 you know maybe like 12 minutes I'll say I'll give you a solid number 12 minutes manual pressure high and it's ambitious kitchens recipe I'll give her this credit but like how beautiful does it look mine's not gonna look like that we're not gonna have the rice and we'll just eat that on its own because it'll have all the broccoli and the chicken you don't really need much right much else okay and then we're gonna do egg roll in a bowl because I got a bag of cabbage yesterday or Friday I believe we're gonna do pan seared salmon and our favorite salmon is from we get like a bag of <clears throat> six of them from um, Whole Foods that's my favorite and it has the skin on and I crisp up the skin and then I just douse it in coconut aminos so keep it super simple um, keto chicken fried rice so I'll probably get frozen cauliflower rice from a grocery store I don't know which one just any one because making cauliflower rice is exhausting I just never want to do that again unless it's for a recipe and also when you make cauliflower rice and you pulse it in um, a processor it's so fine but when you buy the frozen cauliflower or if you like even like the chipotle cauliflower rice it's like thicker it's like, you know, thicker pieces versus like finely grained. So the finely grained, when you make it in the processor, I notice it just gets so soggy and like it's not as enjoyable as if it's like thicker. So I think the frozen cauliflower bagged rice from the freezer section is going to just do better, taste better. 
um, with all like the coconut aminos and stuff. And then hopefully if Matt wants to eat out, um, we're going to do Five Guys Burger Bowl. So we'll give them another shot. I tried them. I think I said this already a while ago, maybe last week. I tried them twice. The second time I realized that I really liked them. Matt's only tried them once. He did not like them. So I think we need to give them another shot. Um, but if we eat out and we don't do the burger bowls, we'll definitely be doing Chipotle because I could always eat that. So that is our meal prep for the week. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys are making, like I said. And let me know, do we want to do just chat more about meal prep? Okay. You know, people like people like the uh, chatting. Cool. Um, Quincy's husband here. Oh, you're on Quincy's account. I was like, who's Quincy? Any ideas for Super Bowl foods? Ideas that are traditional? Yet, Keto's, I'm getting into this. Oh, nice. Okay, so wings, you can't go wrong. Um, I wonder if we have like an appetizers blog post. I'm sure we do. Uh, so wings, you can't go wrong. We do. And we even have these really good chicken tenders right here. And we toss them in buffalo sauce. Okay. Rolls you're not going to make. Pigs in a blanket. That's not traditional, but they're really good and super easy to make. So chicken tenders. Yes. Onion rings. Why not? Um, you can use our chicken crisp pizza to make pizza or breadsticks. Super good. The crispy oven chicken wings. A secret, I'll tell you before you even click on the link, is baking powder. Makes them super crispy. Um, deviled eggs. So not, I don't know what, what is traditional aside from wings, like dips, right? Poppers. Yes. Um, let me, let me see, see, see here. Okay. No, but we do have a, we have bomb ass dips. Can I say ass on live? Matt's probably saying, no, you can't. Okay. Maybe just the word dip will bring up my favorite me. Okay, so we have, oh, this chorizo dip is super good. Buffalo chicken dip, you can't go wrong. Quincy's husband, so good. Um, spinach artichoke dip, pizza dip. This one, I grew up eating this. It is just fire. So good. I don't use the f word fire ever, so <laughs> that means something. Um, but yeah, pizza dip. Right here, and then buffalo chicken dip. That's all you really need. And I would do chorizo dip. Um, and then you can make chips from, in this, I think it's in this recipe, you can make chips from low-carb tortillas super easily. Yeah, right here. Make low-carb tortillas. And we tell you exactly how, and they're super crispy, and they're perfect. Okay. That is my rant on appetizers. Um, depends on the brand of pepperoni. The good kind from the deli stays long, better longer. Not the Hormel brand, though. I don't know, guys. Because Jeremy's saying, hence you eating old pepperoni. Maybe I'll just eat a lot of things. <clears throat> I'm like, I have very low standards for food generally. <sighs> hence my eating issues. Um, but yeah, what else is going on? They have great butter chicken recipe. We do. Thank you for shouting that out. It's a definitely a delicious recipe. Super easy to make. What are the blue lights on your chair? Oh, just Matt has like these lights. So it just like makes it look super cool. I guess it doesn't, I guess it doesn't look super cool because you're like, what are the lights on your chair? But yeah, it just, you know, it gives it like more of like a vibe. Is the vibe a good vibe right now? We can change the color. We can do a green. Ooh, I'm in a green. Yeah, Matt always does the same vibe color. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Um, charcuterie, that's always great. You can't ever go wrong with a charcuterie plate. Uh, are you guys watching the Super Bowl? I feel like we're not going to watch Super Bowl. Super Bowl. We didn't watch any games today. I think Matt just keeps up with, like, the scores and, like, watches highlights. Um, let's get some more air fryer recipe videos. Yeah, we can do that. Those are pretty 
easy to do and easy to make, we can definitely do that. Business Goose said pepperoni doesn't go bad. It gets eaten. True to that. Like pepperoni is so good. So good. Pepperoni pizza was my fave. Um, what else? Have you or anyone tried the crepini egg or cauliflower wraps? Are they good? Enjoy your channel. Thank you. Um, we, ha- <clears throat> we have tried the crepini egg and cauliflower wraps. They are good. They're not super, super sturdy, but we like them. Um, if you're very gentle with them, you can make breakfast tacos, which is what we like to do. And yeah, I would I would give definitely give them a try. Maybe you won't, you know, like even if you don't love them, I would definitely they're worth a try. I definitely think so. I got four carb wraps from Aldi and chopped sausage, eggs, cauliflower rice with any cheese. Load up and air fry a couple minutes. Oh, that sounds good. The air fryer just oh, best breakfast burritos. Yeah, the air fryer just turns any junk into just deliciousness is there going to be a meal plan to dl for the week loved the last recipes oh well, thank you um we're doing it every other week so let me see when was the last one posted if matt's listening maybe he can chat and let us know i haven't heard from him today i wonder if theo's giving him just a hard time Okay, let me see. Uh, so yeah, this seven day meal plan. It's right here. I will just share my desktop. So if you just go to our um, site, type in meal plan. There's the seven day meal plan. And we went through it last week. Oh yeah, I guess if we went through it last Sunday, then it came out last week. So... Not this week. It's going to be the next one will be the following week. If pe- enough people like it, though, we will do them weekly. So definitely let us know. Comment in the post. Um, as you can see, some people have already commented and let us know if you like it. Oh, shoot. It's already seven. Dang, this goes by fast. Uh, do you think you'll continue with this after the challenge? Um, I guess I haven't really thought that I thought about that and Matt and I haven't discussed it. I mean, if you guys really do like it, I do meal plan every single week regardless. Um, maybe I'll just do it like once every other week or maybe once a month depending on our schedule. But yeah, why not? This is fun. And I get an hour break from mommy duty. My hubby said he boycotted pro football this year and his team made it to the Super Bowl. LOL. He said he had to watch the Super Bowl. My daughter told him probably shouldn't. Maybe they will win. Oh, that's funny. That's funny on your daughter's part. Yeah, maybe him not watching is what caused them to get to the Super Bowl. Um, is there a keto biscuit bun recipe? Yeah, of course. Um... Well, we have mug breads. We have biscuits, but are you talking like, what kind of biscuit are you talking? Like a biscuit put burger in? You could definitely, oh yeah, our our three three minute low carb biscuits, people love these. They're so good. They're a copy of Red Lobster's cheesy biscuits, I think. And then we have our jalapeno cheddar biscuits. We have mug breads. I'm not even sharing my screen. I'm such a jackass. Okay, here's the three-minute low-carb biscuits. So good. Here's the mug breads. Here's the jalapeno cheddar biscuits. So, yeah, we got we got some options for you. Um, okay, all right. So it is 7.03. I should probably get to the boys. This was so fun. Thank you for spending your time with me, your Sunday evenings or whatever time it is for you. Um, and yeah, so we'll see you next week. Next week is actually the last Sunday. I think that's the 31st, if I'm not mistaken. The last day of the challenge and I'm meal planning. 
So yeah, maybe you can just carry it over and keep going with our meal plans. Um, but thanks again, guys. Uh, have a great night and we'll chat so 